Hey guys, it's John again from Walkthrough Code. So here is our list of to-dos. Uh, today we're just going to be basically setting up Node uh, and um, basically getting ready, uh, getting the public folder ready to serve files and then we're going to make sure that it works. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, get started with uh, all the dependencies. Um, let's first do sudo npm install sudo you may not have to do if, or you don't have to do if you have windows uh, but you may need to do it if you have mac or linux uh, we're going to npm install dash g uh, connects i already have it on my uh, laptop so uh, it may or may not do much but you are going to want to have that done so you can um, use the connects command line stuff um, then locally we want to we have to do npm init dash y since I'm too lazy and I don't really care a whole lot what it's called um, then we're going to say npm install dash dash save express body parser connects pg and we'll use cores we're not going to really do much we're just doing it so we don't get those annoying browser messages um, anything else? Not for now. Okay, so that's done. Uh, while that's installing, we'll just toss some stuff up here. Var express equals require express var uh, core, uh, yeah, cores equals require cores var body parser equals require body parser parser then we're going to say var app equals express um, and call it and so that instantiates our server so that's done for now let's go down to um, here we'll say app dot use use cores uh, then we'll do app.use body parser. parser. Ooh, I can't do that. I didn't even realize that. Body parse. Body parser. Body parser dot JSON. And then we do, we are gonna have form submission, so we're gonna say app.use body parser dot URL encoded. And then that takes an object when you can say extended false. Okay. All right. So that's a lot of the middleware. Um, let's do app.listen. And then we're going to do port 8000. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Um, just just so to just to have you know to have it ready. We're, we're going to create a port here. And we'll say equals process dot env dot port equal uh, sorry or port eight thousand. The reason why we do this is because there um, when you submit submit when you deploy your app to Heroku or something like that, they use a process. Um, they when your app when your app deploys, there's an environment variable called port. And it's not usually the one that they that they or that you hard code um, unless you expressly tell them to for some reason. Um, so you'll have some issues. But here we're saying if there's no port, set the port to 8,000. And then here we can just put port function, just a random callback to go console dot log uh, listening on and then port. Okay. So let's test to see if this works. So we'll say node server.js. Awesome, server works, good. Um, okay, so this is done. Uh, create controller module for routes. Okay, so we are gonna create a module for our routing file. Uh, so we're gonna go to, um, we're only gonna have one controller, so I'm not gonna make a whole new directory or anything. So we'll say, um, we're going to say to do controller.js. 
Uh, inside of here, we're going to say module dot export equals some object that we haven't done anything to yet. Um, but we will come back to you here. We'll put we'll put the route names in here and stuff. Um, you're probably wondering why are you not just using routes? I just want to show this technique because the students that I'm teaching are learning this right now. Uh, so that's the way it is. So let's, so we created the controller, so done, done. Uh, let's do express.static method. Um, so this express.static is for, um, is for basically creating, uh, telling express what folder to, um, what folder to serve to the browser. So we're going to say var.use express.static and in here we're actually just going to pass public. Um, I'm almost sure that's right. We'll go back and check it if it breaks. Um, okay, express.static done. So now we need to add our public folder. Public. And we need to create inside of our public folder in index.html and then I'm just going to get super lazy and throw a template up there um, and say title the to-dos and then we're going to put something in here just a heading of hello world and server.js so now we're done with this so verify server works. Let's see, we'll make sure we have var express for our cores, but potty parser um, app app.use cores. Da, 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 da. I think we should be good. Let's try. There's another. There's another awesome uh, node launcher out there called Nodebomb, uh, and every time you make a change to the server, it'll automatically restart for you, which is super nice. Um, so let's do nodemon server server server.js and seems to be listening. Let's bring up the browser. This is a super cool show by the way, or it's super cool uh, music by the way. So we're gonna go here to localhost 8000 and we have hello world. Awesome. So now we've completed all of our to dos for today. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Any comments, uh, comments below, please like, subscribe. Um, and uh, so in the next video, we're going to be sending out Kinex. Awesome. Uh, see you then.